Wade. My name is Jeff Slingloff with Brolin and Boss, and I'm here at the NAM Convention 2019, and I want to tell you about a new and exciting product, which is the new Waza Tube Amp Expander. The Tube Amp Expander is a dynamic reactive load, so you can attenuate your guitar amplifier, and it does so much more than that, so I'm going to give you a quick run through on it. Uh, what it is, is number one, it's got 16 different cabinet reactive loads. Now, the important thing about the cabinet reactive loads is that the reactive loads work backwards into the amplifier. So it's not so as simple as uh, it just pat changes the EQ on your air amplifier. When people connect their guitar amplifier to a speaker, the speaker movement, the impedance and the dynamics of that actually works backwards into your amplifier. It changes the transformer distortion and it works backwards into it. You even adjust it every day in the form of a presence control. The presence control is actually that being fed back in to the amp. So it's the impedance curve of the amplifier. So unlike a lot of the reactive load devices that have been coming out over the past few years, which traditionally have one type of sound, it not one thing is what you want for everything. Uh, I don't want a 112 Deluxe with this guy because I want a big cabinet sound. And I want that distortion and that characteristics to come with it. So I can pick one of 16 different cabinet modes here. Once I have those cabinet modes, I've got available on this a continuous control for the volume, which is great. I can add reverb. That reverb that I'm adding is both going to the direct outputs and also a live speaker cabinet. I can add an effects loop on it, and so for this demo, I'm just going to add this uh, MD500 reverb um, chorus into it. So imagine being able to take that old classic head that you got laying around and add an effects loop to it without destroying the tone by modifying it. Along with that, I can add some delay. And I'm going to even EQ it. I've got a five band EQ that's available at all times, so I can use that for a solo boost or just reshaping the tone of my amplifier. And again, I can choose whether that goes to the live cabinet or through the live speakers like you're hearing right now, because what we've done is taken this wonderful Friedman amplifier, uh, thanks Dave Friedman for loaning it to us, and uh, uh, we're actually listening to this microphone direct so you can hear what's happening in the live cabinet. Because traditionally this type of, of effect would only be useful for the recording out, but in this case, these effects affect the live cabinet as well. So I'm going to add a little boost on the EQ. Now, if you'll notice on this wonderful Freeman amp, I've got this thing master volume on 10. Well, actually, the Freeman goes to 11, and that's where I've got it, because that's where great good tone is, because the power amp section is getting to do all that squish and feel and pump that we all love. And, uh, you know, we have a tendency to turn the master volume down and the gain up, which makes for a fizzy small tone. But if we go the opposite direction, we get big. And with this, I can do that. Keep the amp loud, but quiet in the room if I want to. I don't even have to connect the speaker cabinet to this guy. It's pretty awesome. So uh, and the, I do have the ability to do uh, control back to the amplifier to change it from its clean channel to its distortion channel. So, so I'm going, so I'm acting as the foot switch for this head. All this has a direct out that can go through two XLR outs, so as you can take it to your recording device. You can also go via USB and just use it as your audio interface. There's also a convenient mono uh, front of house output for just traditional stage usage. So whatever your situation is, if you're using in-ear monitors, you could take the head, this, go straight to your tour and be fine. You don't even need a live cabinet. If you're going to some place where you can actually get some volume and tone, it's available for you there. And it's all controllable by a foot switch, which you can do effects on and off, tap tempo, and uh, of course change through all, all the 10 rigs that are available. That's also controllable via MIDI. So it will be out in May, and I'm just really excited about it. I'm excited for you guys to hear some great tone and hear what you all do with it. So thanks, Logan McQuaid. Thanks for watching. To be notified of more videos from our trip to NAM this year, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. Leave a comment or question below, and check out our video playlist of all the latest and greatest products at NAM.